some of the parts we've ordered came in. Uh, I believe this is our clutch kit. And let's see what we get in it. We've got hose clutch slate cylinder. Definitely. That's what that is. Receipt. Oh, this is the classic gold edition. Let's just see. This is probably the slave cylinder. It is. So, this line will hook to here. And then that's where we bleed it. Uh, and then the actual clutch fork or clutch rod goes into that. Or uh, something. Something similar to that. And last but not least, master cylinder. Mm, looks just like ours, but much cleaner. Uh, this is where it attaches to the top of the clutch pedal. And, oh. All right, so this is actually for, this is where we attach onto that clutch fork. So, very nice. We've got everything. Pretty cool. All right, uh, well, with these clutch parts, hopefully after that we should be able to actually see what if anything else is wrong with the clutch. And if not, it's meh, closer to drivable. Still not, it has no brakes. Uh, the carburetors are flooding, there's no seats in it. But, you know, one step at a time. All right, let's put this away and go look at what we have to take off on the car. Right here is the clutch master cylinder on the car. And it is held in place by one bolt here, another one on the bottom, they're both half inch. And then it has one steel line attached, which the steel line runs down to right here. This is the steel line off the master cylinder, and then this becomes the flex hose that goes down to the slave cylinder. Okay, we've got the line off. We have it unbolted top and bottom. Next step is we're going to go under the dash, and we're going to unclip it from the clutch pedal. Here's our clutch pedal, and if you go up, here is the clutch. It's not really a Z-bar, but here's the clutch rod. comes down. Here's the return spring that pulls the pedal back up. This is the back side of the master cylinder, so it's going to be a cotter pin and a couple washers. And then we'll be able to pull that master cylinder right out the other side. Should be able to ease that right out of there. There we go. All right, we've got the master cylinder replaced. This is the brand new one. Two bolts, one steel line. It was actually easiest to just take this entire steel line off right here and remove the entire steel line and unthread it on the bench. Here is our new slave cylinder hydraulic line going down to the brand new slave cylinder. There it is. New slave cylinder installed, new fork. And I put it back in the top pin uh, instead of the bottom because at the bottom, it has to travel the farthest to engage and disengage, which means you actually are gonna be engaging the clutch closer to the floor, even if it's brand new. So I moved it up um, and hopefully that pedal will come up a little bit. I do think that there's probably an adjustment issue actually on the clutch, but I don't want to pull the transmission out. And I've got it, so right now the pedal is about at three quarters when it engages or disengages. So that's not terrible. We'll live with it like that for now. Okay, next, let me show you something else. This is the pin that connects the clutch pedal to the master cylinder. And as you can see, it's very worn out. It's actually tapered in the center now like an hourglass shape, which translates to pedal travel. Um, so this needs to be repaired. So what I've done is I have taken standard bolt, same size, 5 16 quarter inch, can't remember which one it is. It's the one that looks like it's that size. And I cut the threads off of it. So now I'm tapered down to this size. I did do this to sort of help align it. Chamfered, cam, cam, I can't remember the word for it, whatever. It's pointy here, but not sharp. Despite breaking my drill bit, which I didn't want to do, but I did do. There's that one. There's that one. I have a brand new clutch pedal pin. Now, I'll go show you the slop difference between these two. Let's go put them in and I'll show you. This is not the best lighting situation, and I know that, but it's what we got. So, here we go. Right here is master cylinder and clutch rod. Here is the original pin. Now keep your eye on the movement of this piece right here compared to the movement of the master cylinder fork. Do you see how much that moves? I haven't even put any pressure on it. I'm moving at a good probably half to three quarter inch here at pedal level just from the slop in that right there. Now, 
let's put in the one that I just made as a repair. Look at that. No, no slop in the pedal now. So we are, we're good. That fixed that. We'll th throw a washer and a cotter pin on it and call it good. That was a fix that, uh, not a normal issue, but you know, it needed to be done. The clutch actually works. The car will run and drive now. It just won't stop. Uh, I need to get the brakes working and then maybe put the new pedal covers on. That'll at least make me feel better. Pretty soon we'll be able to put the transmission tunnel cover back on. I just need to patch the floor right here. There's these rust holes, which I've got to cut out, put a piece there. And there's another hole under here that I need to cut out. And that's what that piece is for. So other than that, uh, clutch works. Hydraulics were great. Just need a couple little adjustments and a new pin. And we've got ourselves a clutch. All right, that is it for now. And we'll see you next time.